I actually wrote a speech tonight. I'll follow it too. But I want to tell you a little bit about Eugene. I met this guy about a year ago. It was cold, I remember that. And he came to the Women for Trump stuff that we were hosting in, in uh, Essex. I knew right away this guy's heart was, was pure. I loved what he said. And I gotta see if I can fix this. Thanks. I believed in Eugene right away. And I knew, I knew that he was special. Yes, his voice is loud. And as a former musician myself, I told him, just take it down a bit. So, and he's been, he's been great at that. But he is, I love when he speaks. And we've done so many events together. And uh, you know, I love you, brother. So you inspired what, what I'm about to talk about. So throughout this election season, there's been a lot of talk about new Republicans. And Eugene brought that to my attention. And he said, we're going to take that. And we're going to flip it. And we're going to make it a positive term because people were using in a negative way. So most of this most of us in this room tonight, we don't care about party leaders or party dictation. We became involved in politics simply because we care about the right things, the American way. Born in Liberia, made in America. That was your slogan. I loved it when I saw it. And that's what it means to be American. You, it's the American way. So we don't identify with the party first. We are Americans first, conservatives second, Republicans third. And many of you guys are, are walkaway members in this room as well. And you know I've walked. Give it up for Mary Phelps back there. And I'm going to quickly just, I'm going to veer off and say something about Chris Anderson that I talk about a lot. It was, many people were walking away from the Democrat Party and some were afraid to become Republicans. And we, we heard why. And it was with Chris one day is when we determined the best thing to say is we'll join our party and take it over. And that's what we're doing. It is the way that Donald Trump campaigned and he became our 45th president. He didn't care necessarily about the party politics. And many of you guys know I was a Ted Cruz supporter. And I liked what Trump said. But Trump did something different and revolutionary. It's what's happening in Baltimore City nine black republicans running and i'm proud that i'm friends with most of you guys that are running <laughs> our fight is to make sure that we preserve our freedoms the ability to live your life any way you want with the god-given freedoms as long as you don't take away those rights from another we believe in having equal opportunity to live the lives any way we want we don't care about race baiting or go to a boy strategy see we have a core that binds us. The Democrat Party moved away from those core beliefs that bring us here tonight. Even many establishment Republicans have sold us out for their own political gain without putting our core beliefs first. City Hall will change people. Annapolis will change people. Washington will change people. But that is why we are the new Republicans. A core belief, thank you. Our core beliefs you know, we don't support tax-funded abortion. We don't support taking away our, our right to religion, pitting groups of people against each other, taking money for enterprise zones and moving them to different areas for political gain. We don't support corporate welfare by giving hundreds of millions of dollars to businesses that somebody else's private business couldn't get. We know it's called pay-to-play. These policies have destroyed our cities and our neighborhoods. Well, I'm here to say that we will not let it happen again. We don't support taking away the rights to protect ourselves and live free. Eugene has been there with me with We Back Blue. He has stood up and said, yeah, maybe we need some reforms, but we will support our police because the communities that are gonna hurt the most without having police are his community and others like that. We will never support politicians who vote for high tax increases, especially in times of economic distress like this right now, and we do not support socialism. What we do support is the person having that God-given right to live free as long as they don't take away that right from another. We support communities equally, not politically. You know I'm from Baltimore. I know you're from Baltimore. Baltimore is the heart of Maryland, and that's what we need to fix. 
We support the right to protect ourselves and our families. We support the right for free speech and we support our families. So what do, what do the new Republicans do now? And that includes lifetimers like myself. I've always been a Republican. Well, it's, it's simple. We let everyone know what is going on, what has been happening in our city, and we have been doing that. We take over the party. We end up making our imprint on the party, and you guys are doing it, and I'm so proud of you for that. <laughs> Lastly, once you win, and others. Amen. Yeah. You, you can applaud for that one. <laughs> we will not stray and vote in different ways. We will remember why we are running, doing the things for the right reasons. You're out there every night and every day doing that. I see it. People see it. President Donald Trump sees it. So I leave you with this. Embrace that we are the new Republicans. Say it loud and proud, because Eugene Boykai, say his name, Eugene Boykai. What's your name again? Say it again. Eugene Boykai. As President Trump said, go win your race. Eugene Boykai. Thank you, everyone.